welcome to the next lesson. We're going to look at how to use our paper. And from that we need some photos. They're in the book of notes. You've got these photos and I will show you what we're going to do in this lesson. Yeah, I'm not going to do a large intro. I'm just going to show you. Now, the previous mushroom, the toadstool, we've just done somewhere in the middle of the paper. Now, I've got a different one here. And with this one, let's say I only want to focus on this one. What I can do is, I'm going to show you that on my next page, is I can do this, this in two ways. Now, I can draw it in the middle again and waste lots of paper. But what I can also do with it, I can put it right here. So I could draw it on this side and then put, let's say, another one like this one here. And then I could, for example, put this one right there. Now go back to this one. What I could also do with this one is just turn the paper. If I want only this one, I want to turn the paper and I'm going to draw it right only right here. So there's two choices you have. So either combine the two or do them separately by drawing one here and then the next one that will fit the page. I'm going to put this under it again. Right. That would fit the page right here. And you can draw in this branch that is there. You could draw in too. So different sizes, different shapes, determines how to use your paper. Now with this one, you can have the choice, put them both in the same drawing or separate them. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them both in the same drawing, but I'm going to do something special with that. Okay, let me show you that. Now this is a taller one and you can't see all of it. That's not all on the photos. We're going to make it a nice tall one. Now the first thing what we're going to do is do that box. I'm not going to draw that all in, but I'm going to just put it in. And I'm going to put that on this side of my paper. I'm going to make a nice tall box. And in here, and so I'm going to extend the stalk beyond the ring down. And I'm going to put in, that would be the first one. I'm going to draw that firstly at the bottom. There you go. Now, if I determine this, I might have it actually quite white already. Let's go a little bit more thin, not as white as this. Let's say, ah, that is better. Nice and thin, like that. Good. Now, I can determine where I want the stock since it is quite long, but I'm going to do it, make it myself nice and easy. I'm going to put it about at a half, about a half of it. Now, and I'm going to draw in this shape. Up here, there's an arch, and then most of it goes pretty straight and then meets the arch. Now here, definitely, this is not straight, but with an angle, something like that. Yeah, and then we're gonna do, this one is a bit under an angle too, goes straight up, goes under that angle, more angles like that. There you go, now that looks good. This, I'm gonna say, doesn't look good at all bit more like that. There, that looks better. All right. And the next thing I'm seeing, of course, on the cap. I'm drawing that in and then I'm seeing it down here too. You don't have to draw all of that in. There you go. I'm seeing some around there. And then you see these nice scales. I'm going to start on the hair, extend them a little bit, there you go, and this creates some of these scales there too, and I'm not going to do all of them, let's do a few scales here too, a larger one right there. Put a scale here, put one there, and put one there in between. Oh, we might put then one there, and let's add one there. There you go. I'm not going to do all of them. You could do all of them, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm fine with that. The next thing is I'm looking at the stock. It's not totally straight. It comes from the middle. So this is my middle, and then it goes a little bit 
away under an angle and it's nice thin and I think I'm okay with that oh, that looks good and then here there's a ring you can put the ring anywhere you like since we've extended it I'm going to put an arch there and I'm going to put a second arch around it and extend that and now it looks like a ring and there you go and under here you can't if I would zoom in you can see there's some nice scales here again so what we're gonna do we're gonna put those into like this just to make it a little bit more interesting all right there we go now for light and shadow obviously there is a lot of shadow and it goes like this under there interesting shape we're going to put some shadow right there of course we're going to put some at the back and at the hood we're just going to add lines all right i'm going to take my pen right away for this one i'm going to start with the hood or the cap and there you go Now, down here, I'm creating these triangles in it. I'm leaving it like that. The next thing is this. Now, make sure you don't get confused drawing in the shadow parts. Now, I'm adding the ring. And there we go. See, that looks good. Now, I'm adding this part and then the final part of the stock. And there is my mushroom. Now, drawing in this and not doing straight edges. Get a little bit of fringes holes whatever you call them at the end to make it slightly more interesting there you go and this one there and i want this one in it to create it a little bit better and there we go we've got everything that we want in here all right and that's a nice straight one now we could have done these a bit more straighter but we're okay with this okay that's that now sh shading here there's a lot of shading so I'm going to hatch this, put that shading right in there too. Here on the edge a little bit. There you go. And now what I'm going to do, since this is quite dark and there's, this is, this is an ink, ink fungus. I'm not sure what the name is in English, but there's quite some here. But as you can see at the edges, there's a lot. We're going to, first of all, Create a shadow line, nice and thick, under here. Not on this side, though, though if we're pretending the light comes from here. Let's stick to that for now. There we go. Then there's some under here. There's some back here. There's some under there. Definitely some under here. There you go. Now let's put a little bit there. And around the edge. Around that edge a little bit. There you go. And here. Under there. And there. Not there. But there. See? And that makes that nice. It's just a little bit of shadow. 
to create something more interesting let's add just a little bit of shadow right there too all right good and let's do some cross hatching here okay and that creates a nice shadow here what we're going to do is back here add just again a little bit of shadow straight up not too much there you go now under here we want definitely also some shadow and i want a bit more shadow around there so i'm hatching again straight and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hatch straight here there you go the ring let's add some shadow under it and of course there would be some shadow here so what we're going to do is hatch this in and let's oh, let's extend that a little bit there too there you go and there we go that's looking good now up here i want to just hatch this up straight Okay, let's do that and with these let's add the hatching up there instead of under it we're going to put it up there to create these scales And this one, let's add just a little bit around the edge there. Now that looks interesting. Good. Now we haven't done this one, so we're going to do this one too. Same as we've done there, under there. There you go. Now we're creating something pretty interesting here. Now what we're going to do up down here, not up, down here. We're going to add some extra down here, second layer. Still keeping it straight and we're going to do that down here too, but short. And there you go. Well, let's shade that one in and we're okay with this now here can see some parts here but let's add just some lines here and there do that here too not too much and there we go now the ring what I want to do is with the ring back here I want to shade it and then not there only at the back good to create a little bit of extra shadow Good. Well, might want to do some more there. And now let's under here create a little bit of shadow right there too. All right. And I think we're okay with this. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of shadow here. And let's say right there, I'm going to put in a line. Doesn't really matter where it goes exactly, but let's say right there, and we're gonna hatch, but now we're gonna really hatch showing look, this is shadow. There you go, not too close to each other. And there we go, creating a little bit of interesting light shadow effect. And that's it. That's what we're going to do with this one. Well, that's number one. What am I going to do with number two? I could do it on a separate page, but since I've got some room left, I can make an interesting composition of it. Let's do that. 
So the second one is this one, and I could do it on its page, but I could put it somewhere here too. So um, we could put it behind there to make it interesting. But since I have this room, I want to make an interesting composition in an L shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this line first of all. That will be my imaginary ground. And now I've got to determine how large I want this. This is not a huge one. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to create the box. I'm going to say I want it to go in this box. You cannot go outside of the box. The next thing which I'm noticing, of course, is that this one is quite up. But it's under an angle, so I'm going to give it that angle. And the top is also under an angle, so that will be interesting. We've got both under an angle. Now, in the middle is the stock, pretty much. And there we go. So that is the first thing. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw that in right away and observe what I'm seeing. I'm going to say, okay, I'm seeing definitely a very nice arch right there. Then I'm seeing quite a straight bit on there and then next I'm going to say this goes up straight and then creates a nice arch too. Now these are all a bit like that, wavy and so there we go. Next thing is the stock, really simple. I'm noticing it goes under a little bit of a curve. So. Let's put that in, and here it's under a curve. I could have put it slightly higher, I'm noticing now, but that's okay. This goes under a curve too, and there we go. Now, that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, we could put it up slightly higher, but that's okay. Right. Now I'm going to draw that in right away. Same pen. And there you go. Put that angle in nicely. Now, with light and shadow on the photo, it is of course quite different, but we're not going to follow the photo because we've already decided that light comes from here, so we're going to bring that in. So what I'm going to do first of all under here, I'm going to hatch pretty much as I've done there, except for with that part. And then I'm going to go for here right away for some cross hatching under there. Now, this back will be in shade then a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create, as in the photo, a nice interesting shadow line here. I might go up. A little bit like that so that creates something interesting and I'm gonna put in another layer of shadow right there and add it a little bit here there you go that is good for this one all right good now with the hood what I'm noticing is there's a part under here I'm gonna just do the same as with that one there straight lines add those in to create the edge of the hood and there we go now we've got something really interesting under here add a little bit of shadow a thicker line here here too in there a little bit oh there we go now looks nice doesn't it and with this one what we're going to do is we're going to do the same we're going to add that shadow and we're going to just say right about there and we're going to hatch this in create something interesting but i'm noticing this one has quite some texture so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get that texture in a little bit by just adding some random lines. Here they go, this direction. And here they go, that direction. Here a little bit straight and up here. Let's add just some lines 
right there to make it slightly more interesting. And there you go. Now here too, some angled lines. Wow, a bit like that. That's good. All right. And now we've got a nice composition with two of them. But what I'm noticing now is that these two are not connected. So we've got to connect them a little bit. And the connection, what we're going to do is, I'm going to move this. We're just going to put a branch, a lock or something like that behind it. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just start here. Let me do that with a pencil first then. And let's see, this is, I'm going to go high up here. Under the hood down there. And that is where I'm going to put a lock. And what I'm going to do with that is very simple. Oh, my drawing has gone suddenly. At the end of the lock, there you go. I'm going to put a little bit of a round like that. There you go. And I'm going to leave that as it is. And I'm going to put on the lock some straight lines like this. Oh, let's add then a ground line there too. And let's round this a little bit more then. Make a little bit of a circle of this. There you go. And now you get that idea that this is a log behind them. I'm apparently touching my iPad. I'm going to get the pen for this. Starting with these lines, there you go. Now I'm going to draw in that shape, add some right there, as if we have those year rings, I think. Yeah, they're called in English too, year rings. I hope so. <laughs> and at the end, create some lines very simple we're going to add some lines down here too and then add some lines under here some veins on it and there we go all right now we need some shadow. We're going to do actually the same as with these. But let's say the shadow would go around there. Let's do that. Let's leave that open and hatch this in. And again, we're going to do it with hatching. Quite rough. And so there we go. And that makes it interesting. Now we're getting the idea by hatching that this one is more to the front than the lock itself is. Let's add a little bit of interest down at the bottom here. There you go. Not straight, some small lines here and there. There you go. Right, good, that's good enough. And that's the drawing. Now the next thing I need to do is erase everything and show you the drawing. Well, I'm not gonna film all the erasing, I'm just showing you when it's done. So I've erased the parts that I don't want. The one thing I do wanna change now is that one thing I need to change, I've gotta find my pen, here it is. The log here, it looks like now there's light shining on it, so we gotta hatch that. I'm going not the same directions here, but in the opposite direction. Showing, well, there actually isn't any light there. And there you go. Oh, I might cross hatch this one. Why not? Roughly cross hatch it. That is better. All right. And then we get nice the light part on this side the darker part on here, and that's it that creates this drawing. 
And that's the drawing. That's indeed a nice drawing, making use of the paper. Now you could have done it on two separate papers. So you've could have done this one nicely in the middle, creating it a bit thicker and a shorter stock then, because that's what you have to do then. And do the other one on the same paper, on not the same paper, but on a different paper. So you have a choice, make use of the paper with tall ones. Just turn your paper around to create some interest or combine them in a landscape one with a very thin one here and a thicker one there. And yes, you can play with that. Okay, well, that concludes this lesson. The next lesson will be the exercise I'm going to give you. And that would conclude this module too. But we need to do that exercise. All right, see you there.